Yo, what's good? You watching three things on what to shoot as a beginning photographer. So go ahead and prepare fashion your seatbelts. Go get a notebook and get ready. Let's get it. Hey. <laughs> All right, so first thing you should shoot as a beginning photographer, in my opinion, is landscapes. So the reason why I think you should shoot landscapes as a beginning photographer is because you don't have to worry about the pressure of like shooting a person. You feel me? And I'm talking about a camera, no, no guns or nothing. But like taking photographs of a person, you know what I mean? could come with a lot of pressure, a lot of like high expectations from the other person and everything. So you ain't got to worry about none of that. Cut all of that. You could just focus on getting your technical skills right with your cam bam and going out. Also, another good reason why you should go out and shoot landscapes is because it gives you a reason to go out on adventures, I promise you. Like, if it wasn't for me getting my camera, I wouldn't have jumped out of my comfort zone and like done a bunch of crazy stuff that I've done, I promise you. Like, go out and go explore, go to the beach, bro. Go like sneak into some construction sites at nighttime and get some like long exposure pictures and see what you can get or just some creative portraits or something. Or go to like, a, a hiking spot or something, you know what I mean? It gives you a reason to go out with some females too, make a day out of it, and just go get some fun stuff, but it's very low pressure, and you get to just focus on your skills, learn your camera, that's the biggest thing. And also, it changes your perspective in life, I promise you, like, when you start going out and exploring different things, bro, getting on your white boy shit, bro, like, it changes your perspective of life. You start to take, you don't take the little things for granted, you start really just, Paying attention to the little things and like, like geeking out over the clouds, you know what I mean? Geeking out over just like how certain buildings look and architecture and stuff. It just gives you an eye for different things. So go out and go explore, you ain't doing stuff anyway. All right, second thing you should shoot as a beginning photographer. I say you shoot street photography. And what do I mean by street photography slash street documentation? So if you live in the city, you are very lucky because you could just like, go outside of your house, go downtown, and take pictures of like the homeless, you know what I mean? Or take pictures of just like people walking across the street, or take pictures of whatever you see while you're walking around, you know what I mean? And what's cool about that is, like I said again, you don't have to worry about shooting with the model that, you know what I mean, they expect you to get this shit right, right off the gate. You could go out and take your camera and go take pictures of some random people that probably don't know you're taking a picture of them, but get some pretty cool artistic stuff. And what that helps is it helps develop your eye. You might see something and like, man, that looks cool through your eye, right? So you can capture it with your camera. And if you don't get that shit right, like the lighting and exposure right at first, it's cool because they don't know you took a picture of them, so you good. And if it comes out dope, it comes out dope. And then you might want to do something with that bad boy. But it's cool because it gives you a little like practice with shooting people. I mean, shooting portraits of people, you know what I mean? But without... I mean, shooting with models. Like I said, I'm getting all repetitive and stuff. But for real, so that's why you should go out and shoot, uh, shoot some street documentation. Go ahead and do that. Last thing you should shoot as a beginning photographer, you probably already know what I'm gonna say, honestly. But I don't care. I'm still gonna say it anyways. And that thing is portraits. Yeah. In my photography career and still my journey, I started shooting landscapes first. Then I started, I mean, shooting street documentation. And that led me to start shooting portraits and getting into like fashion and lifestyle stuff and all that. But anyway, so you should shoot portraits. And what that does is it helps you just interact with people. It teaches you how to become more social for you, you guys out there that are introverts. It helps with that because you gotta meet people, you know what I mean? And, and learn how to work with people because like shooting portraits, you have to learn how to like make people comfortable around you, especially if it's their first time meeting you. Like as a photographer, you meet a lot of people like for the first time, you know what I mean? Because you're shooting with a lot of random people that you've never talked to before. So it's like, you gotta be really good at how to make an environment comfortable and make somebody wanting to shoot with you and feel comfortable to shoot with you. So then you can get some natural, candid expressions, you feel me? So that's why I think you shoot portraits. Also, it just feels satisfying when you create like some heat, some cool content with another person as well too. And then you guys like co-create and it comes out dope. 
it just feels good. Also, like when the other person that you're shooting with likes the stuff, likes your work, it, that's also pretty satisfying as well too. So that's why I think you should shoot portraits. You know what I mean? It's fun, it uh, challenges you creatively. Also, it, it shows if you really know your stuff, if you got your lighting down and like your technical skills and everything like that. So also make sure to subscribe to your boy's channel and make sure to share this with somebody who's a beginning photographer that you could think that it could probably help them, you know what I mean? Cut their journey in half. At the beginning, they probably didn't know this information. Share it with them so then they could use it and then learn from what I had to go through and then they could upgrade their skills, you feel me? But also I got more videos coming soon, more tutorials, I'm doing vlogs, I'm doing skitty skit skits in this bad boy and I'm doing some music. So go ahead and Subscribe to the boys channel. I know a lot of people have been saying I need to get on my YouTube, so I'm on it now. Alright.